Welcome again to another episode of Micro Media Live on Location. We are here at the Atlanta Executive Network's monthly mix and mingle right at the 866 rooftop inside the Renaissance Atlanta Midtown. And I'm sitting next to a beautiful, beautiful person. We're excited to be working with her for her upcoming project, Lighthouse, the web series. Leah Pearson, filmmaker, how are you, darling? What's happening, Miko? How are you? Hey, I'm so excited to have you sitting next to me, girl. How have you enjoyed? I know this is your first uh, AEN event. Yeah. So how have you enjoyed networking with some of the other members? It's been really, really good, Nico. I've met some really, really good people here, and I've made some great contacts. And I mean, the atmosphere is the kind. Wow. This is a really, really nice event. It is. Thank you for inviting me out. No Thank you for having me. Yes. And, um, I'm just having fun. Okay. <laughs> and the food is Oh, good. the food is awesome. Awesome. Okay. And I had to pull away from my place okay. over here, too. <laughs> so, you know. But I love you guys. But I was yes. eating, but I love you. Yes, we was eating real good. Okay, <laughs> eating real good. Tell us a little bit about um, the vision for Lighthouse. Uh, how did it get conceived? Uh, what's the inspiration behind it and the whole nine yards? Let's, let's start with that. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, I want to thank God for allowing me to be here. Uh, I want to thank my parents for being supportive for me and for Lighthouse. Um, Lighthouse came about uh, between myself and my co-writer, uh, Latina Reed, who unfortunately, as we all know, was killed last October. And she and I began writing Lighthouse about two years ago. Um, so, since her passing, it was my duty mm -hmm. to continue on with the vision of Lighthouse. Um, and since then, I've gotten a lot, a lot of support, even from you guys, and I and thank you for that. And, and um, you know, it's, it's, it's a drama series that is for our community, the LGBT community. Um, and we're talking about a lot of societal issues that are very relevant mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. starting from human sex trafficking, homophobia. Wow. Mm -hmm. We're talking about parenting. Mm -hmm. um, and the list just goes on. And I was just given another show idea uh, for an episode, so I'm going to run with that as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I just want to, first of all, I also want to say that I want to thank, um, I guess, my four mothers and, uh, who did web series mm -hmm. prior to me mm -hmm. in our LGBT community. Um, I want to thank them for giving me this opportunity to do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, and they laid the foundation. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to name names. We all know who has done some really, really good drama series prior to me. And I want to thank them mm -hmm. uh, for, for giving me this work mm -hmm. uh, to do like that. Wow. Tell us a little bit about um, what the pilot episode is going to be like, what that's going to feature, and how many episodes that's going to be in the first season. Okay. The pilot episode, we're looking to uh, actually premiere that uh, early 2014, okay. January, February. We're currently now in uh, the production. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be holding our next set of auditions, our last auditions, which will be October the 27th, mm -hmm. uh, next month, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we're just looking to have, I want to say we have currently nine episodes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and there will be, uh, we don't know if we're going to do it weekly or bi-weekly, uh, we're looking to do uh, a lot of things differently, so I've taken my time um, to do this because I'm not in any hurry, as I always say, I'm not in any hurry to create junk, mm -hmm. so I've taken my time to do this, and, and I'm happy about that, Nico. I'm glad that I've taken my time because I was introduced to people such as yourself, and you come along to, to help us out, and, and I thank you. I thank I really you. Thank you. Um, and so we're going to do we're gonna do a full season, and we're just looking to have fun. It's, it's a drama series, even though it's, script, it's a scripted drama series, but we're talking about real issues. And my my slogan has become now, one of the slogans is follow the light. Mm -hmm. And then the other slogan is, Lighthouse is a movement with a message. Yes. So we're looking to um, 
to heal a lot of souls and to to bring about a lot of change, bring about some healing, mm -hmm. bring about some awareness, um, and just grow and have fun. You know? What's the main message that you really want to relay to the audience, especially since this is coming more from uh, the female perspective? What is it that you really want the audience to grasp when they see Lighthouse? I want them to grasp that on any given episode, I want someone to be able to get something from it, meaning if you need to have a, a, a vehicle to help you talk to your parents about coming out. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with teens, we're dealing with bullying, and I want people to feel as though they are given an opportunity to get oh, something real. Mm -hmm. um, we do drama, we have a lot of drama, we have a lot of web series that are entertainment, but this is real. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring on real solutions mm -hmm. to real issues, whatever they may be. Mm -hmm. um, and this is why I've taken my time with it, Miko, because I want people to really, I want you guys out there and ladies, I want you to be able to to grow, to heal, to, to, um, to, to just change mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in good ways. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things out here, Miko, that we as ladies, we go through every day. And I'm, I'm dealing with our masculine identifier women. Mm -hmm. I'm dealing with the feminine women. Mm -hmm. And now I'm dealing with the women who are going from female to male. So in the transgender, in community. The transgender community. And I'm also touching on um, other areas of other subcategories mm -hmm. of our community. Mm -hmm. um, so no stone, as they say, no stone will be left unturned. And so I want everyone to get something positive from it. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of entertainment out there. Yes. But Lighthouse is, I'm not saying that it's so serious that it's like, oh gosh, I'll probably, I want you to cry. Mm -hmm. I want you to laugh. Mm -hmm. I want you to feel. I want you to be able to talk to your spouse, your significant other. I want you to be able to talk to your parents. I want you to be able to talk to your family. I want us to take our younger generations because they're dealing with a lot of bullying in school because of who they are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so I've teamed up also with Georgia Equality and I want to thank him and, and, and all Jeff the people. Jeff Graham, yes. And, and Jeff Graham. I uh -huh. want to thank all of you guys over there at Georgia Equality for for working with me mm -hmm. and working with you to work with me mm -hmm. um, because this is what's allowing Lighthouse to grow. Mm -hmm. So I guess in long and short to answer the question, I want pe people to be able to change yes. and feel. I love it, you all. We are excited to be the official casting company for Lighthouse, and it's going to really uh, work in support and, and also in collaboration with our campaign for the women of Meek Productions, and we're so excited about it. Where can people find out more information about Lighthouse online? Online right now, they can go to lighthousewebseries.com. That is our web page. Okay. And then they can go to, uh, we have a Facebook page as well, mm -hmm. but they can go to Lighthouse uh, Web Series, I believe it mm -hmm. is, on Facebook. on Facebook. And then, of course, they can go to meetproductions.com. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And then they can go to top, T-O-P-P, -P, bottom. Like that, right? Okay. <laughs> top, Topbottom.com. Okay. We'll have a lot of information there as well. Okay. And then, of course, you can always email me at stonebystoneproductions at gmail.com, and I'll get all the information that you send to me from there as well. Leah Pearson, ladies and gentlemen, we are so excited to be working with her once again and be on the lookout for more things from her because Lighthouse is not the only series and production that she's working on. We're going to be collaborating on future projects for the women of Meek Productions and we're so excited for 2014 and what it's about to bring in store. We got some more interviews, if I'm not mistaken, in store for you while we're here at the Atlanta Executive Network's monthly mix and mingle right here at 866 Rooftop inside the Renaissance Atlanta Midtown. Please stay tuned. We have more in store. You're tuned in to Meek Production syndicated shows live on location. Don't go anywhere. We do have more in store. I'm new to West Michigan and we were so warmly welcomed. But then someone told me about the Holland City Council vote. Now it pains me 
It embarrasses me that in the region that I've come to love, legalized discrimination of people like me is condoned. Please reach out to these leaders and tell them it's time for a change. Until love is equal, step up and stop LGBT discrimination for once and for all. Ever since the third grade, I remember being teased and pushed around just for being who I am. How would you feel if others treated you like you didn't belong at school, on your sports team, at church, or even in your own home? Gay and transgender youth are made to feel like they don't fit in every day. We've all been hurt by words before, so before you speak, think about how your words might affect someone else. You have the power to make a difference. To find out how, go to glad.org. G-L-A-A-D dot org. We are back with Meet Pro Media live on location at the Atlanta Executive Network's monthly networking mix and mingle right here at the top of 866 Rooftop at the Renaissance Atlanta Midtown. And I'm here with recording artist Hannah Thomas, girl. What is going on? You know, we're just playing some music tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We're having a good time. Yeah, baby, you, you made history tonight because this is the first time that uh, AEN has had a musical artist to perform at their networking event. So welcome, baby. <laughs> Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Baby, I love the title of your EP, Goodbye on Wasted Time. Give us the vision behind this concept. You know, it's all the things I learned in the last couple years. Um, you know, before I was trying to cater my music to be something else, and now I'm just being honest with my life. Yes. Just, just saying, no filter. Okay. <laughs> yes, no filter. Straight up raw, uncandid, uncensored. Absolutely. Yes. How long have you been doing music? I've been doing music for about six years, um, and I've been touring across the country for about a year and a half, two years. Wow. And it's all independent? All independent. This, we just put this, this out on my record label. Wow. Three quarters record. Yes, girl. That's what I love. See, I'll, I'm an independent artist myself, so oh, yeah. I love it. Independent is the new major people, so get ready and get used to it, okay? We're taking control over our art. Macklemore is leading the way. Yes, yes. I love it. Uh, what are the next uh, tour dates uh, as far as uh, what's your next city you want to be stopping at? Well, we just got back from a tour in the Midwest. Uh, did some shows with the Indigo Girls. And did some, uh, yeah, that was, that was, Historical that was, Indigo Girls, yes. That's pretty cool. And Amy's actually on this record. Oh, cool. Okay. So next we're going. We're going to Mexico this weekend. Wow! Congrats. On that. We're, we're doing that for a week. So <laughs> we're playing the Sweet Cruise. All right. Yeah. Cool. So that's cool. Be great. Is this is your uh, is this your first EP or do you, uh, do you have like you know, other I've albums out? No, I've had a couple, but this is this is the one where I feel like I've just completely started over. This is this is wow. my real thing. So. Wow. Wow, I'm loving it. Where can people actually purchase your music? On my website, hannahthomasband.com, on Facebook, iTunes, Amazon, wherever you wherever you want to buy music, you can find it. Wow, wow. What's in store for the future for you? Uh, what are the future projects that you're going to be working on? We're getting ready to do another album uh, okay. next year. And uh, we got Don Dixon producing. He did the first two REM records. Wow, and okay. Some smithereen stuff. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Wow, yeah. wow. That's going to be awesome, girl. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Wow. Do you got anything uh, planned for the end of the year, like for the holidays or anything like that? We're touring, touring, touring nonstop. Just oh, take, taking it everywhere, everywhere wow. in the United States. So I know most artists, they kind of take a break for the holidays, but you all want to be working. Yeah, that's what we do most of the time. I mean, I'll go home and see my family. And yeah. Stuff. You got to make mom happy too. Yeah, you know. You gotta stop by see mom every now and then. Just Absolutely. to keep them cool, keep them calm. Oh, but yeah. you know, we still love you. We still got to make that paper though. <laughs> we gotta make that paper, okay? Yes. <laughs> For more information about our artist Hannah Thomas, that's ha uh, hannahthomasband.com? That's correct. hannahthomasband.com is where you can find all of the information about this wonderful artist and all of her latest releases. Don't forget to check out her latest EP, Goodbye on Wasted Time. Love the title. She turned it out right here at AEN, and we're looking forward to hearing more from you, darling. Thanks so much for having Thank you so much, Hannah. Thank you. Oh. We're going to close it out in just a few seconds, so please stay tuned. We have more in store. All right. Okay, once upon a time in 1992, <laughs> Alan Jones formed the Atlanta Executive Network with about 15 other people. And at the time, for two full years, all the invitations to it were sent out in brown paper envelopes with no return address 
it was primarily a bunch of people that worked for executive companies. They were in the closet, they couldn't be who they wanted to be, and it was a way for them to get to network with other professional people. And 21 years later, we live in a city that has gone from two and a half million people to over five million people. For the most part, we can be out, we can be proud of who we are, we don't have to worry about our jobs nearly as much as we used to, and the world has changed. And the Atlanta Executive Network is a group that has a name even, that has the word executive in it, which is misunderstood. Most of the people I meet think that they have to make $200,000 a year to be part of it, and none of that's true anymore. Um, so with that said, the, with input from the membership and with about eight months worth of work on the part of the Board of Directors, we are changing the name to the Metro Atlanta Association of Professionals. We are going to be changing a great deal of the programming and we welcome all of your input into that. And we're very glad that you came here tonight. We did not announce that we were going to have uh, this presented to you. And so we're glad that you're here. You're part of history. Uh, we still are very proud of the 21 years that we had as the Atlanta Executive Network. And we look forward to many, many more as the Metro Atlanta Association of Professionals. So thank you very much for being here. And we look forward to seeing you again in October. Uh, we have third Thursday programming for October and November. October will be at the Georgian Terrace uh, featuring Marcy Alt. November will be at Parkers on Ponce in Decatur. It'll be an event similar to this. And then for the holiday party, which has traditionally been held on the first Thursday of the month, that will be at Henry's Midtown just over on 10th Street. So again, thank you, and we're very glad that you were here tonight.